All right, welcome back. It's uh, late June, 1862. Um, so um, a few moves this turn. Basically, um, probably as you predicted, uh, Stuart will try to destroy the railroad here and then and then head back. We'll try to attack the Union um, Union partisan unit. Otherwise, we're pretty much um, just sitting tight in Virginia. Uh, we do have our new two corps commanders on the way, uh, Stuart and Bragg. Um, and they will arrive this turn. Um, we're actually one core commander short. Um, so if I, I basically need to replace Johnston with someone. So one option would be to um, bring Forney over. But so basically we need one more core commander to kind of make it all work to have a um, supporting units here, supporting units here. And then supporting units here. Um, so hopefully we'll win another battle and get one more core commander. Um, I actually made a mistake, and it's going to cost me. And that is um, there was one militia unit in Shelby's force, and that slowed them down. And that's the reason that they didn't arrive to the region with um, the supply wagon. So we're going to take some hits this time. Not a huge amount, but probably about eight or nine. Um, so he's going to go to Fort Belmont to, to resupply. I'm going to send uh, Wadi's force to um, Lawrence to to hold that for the moment, um, and probably we'll probably have Shelby move over, take over the siege um, at Fort Smith. Um, in Missouri, basically, we've um, we've uh, pretty much been able to reorganize. I'm ordering three more militia units. Um, actually, that one. Let's put that in. Make sure that gets in town. Um, in addition, you can see there's a lot of movement here, but basically um, we're going to send a couple of a couple uh, cavalry forces over to try to push out this partisan unit. Um, in addition, um, this small brigade and uh, artillery piece will, will go over. Uh, meanwhile, Price will go back to Fayetteville, and um, I'm beginning to um, be able to get some additional forces up to Fayetteville. So we have a a brigade on the way, and then a 12-pound, 12-pound battery. Um, otherwise, it's pretty, it's pretty much it. Um, no movement out here really to speak of, and no movement along the Kentucky, um, Tennessee border. Here is Grant. I, I think I know what happened. Actually, I think we were able to. I think they used the Riverine unit to, to get out, and we bombarded them, and uh, their wagons were destroyed. At least that's the best that I can think of. As you can see, they must have no cohesion, no supply, and no supply. The large force here, um, I don't really know what they're going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send up my large fleet, which now has more than 2,000 power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 11 ironclads with gunboard and transport support. So we'll send it up to uh, the... Um, right at next to Island 10. And uh, that way, if they're trying to come down and, and sneak behind either um, here at Fort Pillow or Memphis or down below, um, they will, hopefully, will have a battle. So you can see I have offensive set to sustain attack. And then uh, evade combat is turned off. Um, all right, that's pretty much it. Um, All right, let's run the turn, and uh, yeah, we'll see see what happens. Okay, there were no big battles, but we did have uh, some interesting kind of movement out west. One thing I noticed is that we lost um, four national morale. You can see where it says return to neutral value minus four, and uh, so basically, you, you if your national morale is above 100, it will slowly go down. And if it's below 100, it will it will slowly uh, go up. Um, so let's see what happened here. So the partisan unit has moved over here. Um, we Stewart was able to destroy the rail network, so the BNO rail line is is definitely not close to being able to be in use yet. Um, didn't really see uh, much movement. Um, anything down here so it's pretty much all the same as far as Kentucky goes looks like Grant has left off to try to find him 
where he went. I didn't see um, him leave. One thing is you can see the union has definitely moved out or moving in further into um, there are any more forces in Kentucky and now. So this is the first time I've seen this force with power above 2,000. So we'll definitely need to consider um, how to counter that. Um, the Union fleet is here uh, still, and our fleet uh, came up. Um, but it did, so the Union fleet did come out, but it didn't uh, didn't go down uh, any any farther. Um, Fortunately, Quantrill was unable to destroy the railroad. Um, fortunately for us, though, we're now able to basically um, we'll be able to reorganize the Springfield force into two divisions. Um, so that should last for a good while. Um, up here, this was the interesting move. Um, okay, so the good news is, is actually Shelby didn't take any um, hits. So what? what What's interesting about this is in, in Lawrence, um, Ricketts came down his division, uh, but there wasn't a battle, and so Wadi is still holding. Um, is still holding it, um, and we still have control as as well. We actually have 100 percent control. So that was pretty much all the movement I saw. Um, didn't have any movement out west. We're still uh, gaining control of, of Las Vegas. Um, Carson's force looks like it's slowly running out of supply, so I think the unit will have to move pretty soon. Uh, meanwhile, our our another artillery battery will, battery will arrive in about one turn, probably a little more, as they slow down as they get closer to Tuscan. Okay, let's take a look at the messages. Um, okay, so there's some have been trained. Um, here was. Uh, where we destroyed, easily destroyed the partisan unit in Springfield. Um, and so we still have our, our depot there. Um, you can see there's a smart move here. The Union's now taking control of the, the railroad, railroad line in Caldwell, Missouri. Um, we're still chasing that, we're still chasing this Union Indian unit out west. Um, so you can see there, there it is. Um, Okay, so uh, Rear Admiral uh, takes Raphael sends takes command. Um, let's see, is the CSS Alabama already? Is it? Oh, here it is. Yeah. So or the CSS Florida. Um, oh, so the Florida's already just appeared, and then the Alabama will will show up next turn. Okay, so this is cool. We have a, the Tramp Brigade has been formed. Um, We'll actually probably leave that in in Charleston, actually. So pretty quiet turn. Um, considering it's the summer of 62, it's probably expecting a little more movement, um, but the Union is definitely gathering gathering forces. Um, more forces are coming in, in Kentucky. Where Grant is is unknown at this point. Um, and we still have, looks like maybe these forces have been restructured, so couple divisions there possibly. So we don't have a lot of information. So you can see all this were question marks. We just have very, very little knowledge of what what is actually there. Um, which is why it's nice to use your partisan units to, to gather intel. So the union has left Poplar um, Bluff open. I mean we can the, con the Confederates still control it. And so we'll take advantage of this as a supply um, area for for controls partisans. Um, so I think probably the, the main objectives next turn will be to restructure the cores in Virginia um, and uh, restructure the def defending force in Springfield. I'm likely to move uh, Shelby's, um, Shelby's Cavalry Division up uh, to Lawrence and uh, hoping that, um, uh, yeah, basically Ricketts will um, Ricketts will be able will be able to hold off Ricketts here. Okay, see you next time.